Hey guys, Triple B here. We're getting to see the first reveals of Obsidian Flames, which is pretty exciting. They are from Europe though, so not all of them are English reveals, but you can still use them as proxy cards if you're wanting to get some tests in early. We're getting Decidueye EX, Toad Scroll, Victini, Kabuyan. It's Ice Cube, but not in English, so fair enough. <laughs> Armor Rouge, Magnezone, Palmot, Maridon, Cleffa, Clefairy, Fable. It's kind of funny, we're getting Cleffa and Clefairy, but Cleffa doesn't evolve into Clefairy, even though Cleffa does evolve into Clefairy, but that's a whole other thing, so like, let's just not focus on it too much. Uh, Crydon, Melmetal, and Greedent EX. So if you're wanting to get some early testing in, you can definitely print proxies of these off. You can go over to the website Pokegear if you're not familiar with it. All you have to do, just download a copy. Download, save a copy of this. You're not seeing the little pop-up thing, but if you right-click it, it'll say save image as. Just do that. Save it to your downloads. Go over to Pokegear, pop open your folder, and then just click and drag the image that you want to import. Easy as that. You could use that and get a deck list going. So it helps you build stuff. You can also import other images. So if you want to be a little bit silly, make like a Chao Su card, go for it. He's pretty cool. I like Chao Su. <laughs> you doing the finger guns? Yeah. Yeah, he is, because he's epic. Uh, next up, though, we are getting C Charizard EX as well as Reverum EX. Same thing if you're wanting to get some early testing in. Just copy these images, well, save them, go to Pokegear. You can start making deck lists with them or print them out as proxy cards, which is a great way to get going. The set's actually not too far off. I think end of July, we're getting pre-releases, so early August release date. So it's not too early to start play testing. There's not heaps of cards in the set, though, that are super exciting. Char is really cool and Reverum does actually look kind of cool. It's got a similar ability to, what was it, Honchkrow? So a Honchkrow V, um, you can attach up to four Pokemon tool cards to it. Reverum EX, you can attach up to fo four Pokemon tool cards to it. We are getting that tool card for stage ones where they take 30 less damage when it's attached. So you attach four of those, take 120 left. It's attack while drift does a base damage of 170 and you take another 30 less from attacks. So you could get up to taking 150 less. There's a color list in the attack cost, so put a V-Guard energy, 180 less from Pokemon V, or a water energy and like a Kudi, so 170 less from everything. It's kind of interesting, definitely a fun concept to play around with. The fact that it's an ability to stack tool cards though, they just play down Path to the Peak, you have to discard all the tools except for one. It would kind of suck, we don't really have a lot of ways to get tools back outside of Silene, so... It's a fun concept for a deck. I wouldn't say it's a good concept for a deck, but it's a fun one for sure. Um, we are also getting to see the Tyranitar, the Ice Q here again, but we've gotten the, I was going to say the English one. We don't, we, we, we don't, he's not in English. I don't know what language that is. What language is that? Kabuyan. Who, who, who calls Ice Q Kabuyan? I want to say it's German. Some of those words look German. Warhand. Gotta be German. Anywho, let me know in the comments if you know where that's from. <laughs> Um, but yeah, some interesting cards coming out of it. There's not like heaps that I'm very excited about. Other reveals, there is a Pokemon coin collection volume three coming out in Japan. So if you're a collector of coins, it's a way that you can get your hands on some more. They are going to be costing 200 yen, which is less than two bucks. You get one of 10 randomly though, but you can only purchase 10 per customer. So with them being random, there's a chance that you buy 10 and you don't even get all the 10 different ones. Like, Fair enough. Go with a friend. Trade them. If, if you're a coin collector, cool. They are just kind of like those little play coins, though. Like, it's not metal coins to put in an actual coin collection. So it, it's up to you. There's, I know in Japan, a more commonly used thing, since they don't use dice for deciding heads and tails. So for them, it's a bit more of a novelty and can respect that. We also get to see Pokemon Sleep pre-registration is opening up. So if you're a... Uh, you know, sick of Pokemon Go where you have to get up and go outside and just want to take a nap. They got you covered. Uh, we previously watched trailers on a, I think it was two or three weeks ago, when the Detective Pichu trailer came out. YouTube said don't do that. The video didn't have to come down, but they are like, hey, maybe don't do that. So we're not going to watch the trailer here, guys. Um, but yeah, you, you sleep. It's interesting. Definitely a concept. There's a Pikachu with a nightcap, though. Like, if they sell Sleepy Time Tea with that on the box, I'll buy it. I will buy it. I don't know if I'm going to play this game, though. What about you? Are you, you keen for Pokemon? 
You, you down on nap with the Snorlax? And the final bit of news... Oh, that went the wrong way. Final bit of news. <laughs> there is a new set of VCG Pokeball tins coming out, and they're going to feature Lure Ball. So if you're a fan of those, they're a pretty interesting product. 15 bucks, you get a couple of booster packs, three booster packs, and two sticker sheets for $15. It's interesting, and it's a nice little collectible thing. Like, I've got a Pokeball that's, well, in the background, it's closed currently. I got one of these. Uh, a friend got it for me for my birthday last year. If you're watching this video, thanks again. Um, and just, yeah, really cool little novelty to have. If you're looking for something, though, that can store cards in and stuff, this is a great alternative. I think these are a little bit more of a premium product. It's got some weight to it, and it, like, lights up and stuff. It's not really coming through on the camera great. Or the battery's low. There we go. Yeah. No, it's just there, there's too much light here. It's like, oh, the light's lost in the light. Yeah. I guess that's what's happening. I'm kind of rambling right now, though. That's it for the news for the week. Uh, if you guys enjoy these videos, let me know in the comments down below. Wasn't heaps of news this week, I'll be honest. I feel like they're they're kind of holding off till worlds. There'll be a lot of a lot of news around then. And when we actually get the full set list of Obsidian Flames, obviously, a lot of news then. We will be doing a buy list and a set review when that comes out. So if you're keen on those kind of videos, don't worry. I'll get you covered by then. Um, Till next time, though. Take care.